So this is the post GRE SQL window where uh, you will fire the queries to create the tables. So I will just create a sample table called input underscore demo, right? So I will I will have country name which is a which is of type character variable character of twenty salesperson and sales integer. I will just fire it. Uh, input underscore demo already exists, so I will just take it as demo one or input itself. So you can see that the query successfully returned. I mean, it, the query succeeded. Now, if you want to see the uh, whether the table has created or not, select star from input. You can see, of course, there is no data because I've not loaded anything yet. You can see three columns are already created. The next thing is I will have to populate the source tables. So I will just fire the insert queries that I have already prepared for this data set. If you want to see what I have loaded into the table, select star from input. You can see that there are five rows that have already been uh, added, six rows that have already been added. It carries the country name, salesperson name, and sales figure. I have created my input table. Now I have to create my lookup table. So I will just fire the lookup create table query, create table, two columns. The query was successful if you want to see. You can see that two columns are created and uh, the data types of the columns as well. Next, I have to insert the records into this table. Right? And if you want to see the records that I've inserted, You can see that uh, records are inserted for all the six. Now we have the tables ready, the data ready. We have to create a job to load the uh, data from table to a file. We will use talent for that purpose. I go to create a new job. I will give the name of the job. The editor will load in some time. So now this is a talent open studio editor. On the left side you can see the repository. Now what do you mean by rep repository? It is a collection of jobs and the metadata of each job. For example, if I use table, what is the table that I have used? What is the uh, table name? What are the data types that are there? What are the uh, uh, column names? And what is the length of the columns? All, th all those details come under the metadata. So repository is a collection of all this, the data about data. On the left side you can see the jobs and on the right side you can see the components. There are so many components that uh, talent supports. For example, if you go to the databases component, you can see so many databases that are supported. You have DB2, you have Greenplum, you have Hive, Informix, MySQL is also supported and uh, Oracle is supported. But for our purpose we will be using PostGRE SQL. All right? so, uh, we will use the post GRE SQL and if you go inside you can see T post GRE SQL input, T post GRE SQL output. You will use it for different purposes, input and output. Now before doing that, uh, I just want to create the, I mean, just want to show you the metadata, DB connections. I've already created one DB connection called DB connection point one. Uh, so if I just drag and drop it here, it will ask me 
I have created this metadata using the Postgres SQL connection. So it will ask me whether what do I want to do? Do I want to take this metadata as an input or do I want to take this metadata as an output? Since I'm creating an input for an input table, I will just select the T post GRE SQL input. Right? Okay. So you got the connection. What is the advantage of doing this? If you if you just click T Postgres SQL input and click it here, you will see that you have to give all these host, port, database, schema, username, password, and and so on and so forth. All these details. And if you use it at five different places, you'll have to give it five uh, five different times. Instead of that, you just create a metadata. You save it here, and uh, you can see that everything is already loaded here in this metadata. So all you have to do is load the table name, right? So uh, I just load the table name. Table name that I have given for uh, this is input. Right? And the other table name I have given is lookup. So I will give the same table name. The first table is input. And what are the columns that I have given? country underscore name and you go to edit schema you will see the column names you will have to give the column names country underscore name and if you click here automatically the DB column gets reflected country underscore name right and uh, sales underscore person and sales and the type of this should be string, string and integer because the last one is a number and the DB type should be varchar. That is the difference, uh, that is the advantage of using an ETL tool. The source data type can be of any type and you will standardize it into a uh, compatible data type. You will standardize it. So varchar of whatever I have given here, 20, length, should, length can be 20, even here. I can give varchar 20 and this is integer I can give 10 okay now an input is created I need to create a lookup so I will drag the same DB connection as my lookup table even that is an input so I will take it as an input and I will give the query here select you can also give guess query there since it's a small query I will just give lookup table and the table name is lookup I will edit the schema I have two columns one is the sales the other is the rating right sales would be an integer and this would be a string DB type would be a variable character thirty now I have two different sources. I want to join these two sources together on a common column. What do I use? I will use a, if you go to processing, you will find many components here. For example, aggregate row, if you want to do the sum or count of the number of records that are passing through or count of a particular column, you can use the aggregate row, aggregator. The filter, uh, filter columns and rows, if you want to filter a particular record with uh, uh, sales less than 100 you don't want to consider those so you can use the filter filter this uh, filter component tmap is used to perform basic row level calculations you can use variables in tmap to perform calculations sorter sample row all these components uh, will explain in depth uh, when we use the dimension jobs but for now uh, we'll use t join because we want to join it we want to join the uh, two tables together the link should be main 
So even though you connected a main link, it automatically turned it into a lookup link, right? So one will be a lookup and one will be a main source. input and what will be my output it will be a file so let, let me go to the file uh, component there are again four four more types input if you go to the input you will find a delimited file excel file and multiple other different types of files are also supported and output since we want an output file we'll go to output and we'll choose an excel file and i have to link the joiner with the Excel right if you see the joiner now on how does talent know on what column to join so I have I have to give the uh, key definition so I will look up on sales and sales I will also include the lookup columns the lookup column is nothing but the rating okay since I have not given the schema here <coughs> I just want the header to be included and I just want the sales I will go to the uh, saving the job Now the output file doesn't have any columns, so I will just uh, sync the columns from here, wh what columns I want to join. I want all columns from the input, input table, so I will take all the columns and I want the rating column from the lookup, so I will just take the rating column. And the lookup column is rating. right so uh, if you see the edit schema now you will see that all the columns are automatically propagated I will press save <coughs> and let us try running the job and see if we get any errors now if I to run the job I need to run run demo the play button that the green button if I click it it's trying to build the job uh, the backend code is Java talent uh, translates all this into Java so it's building the job Okay, you can see the statistics here. Six rows were taken in from the input, six rows matched with the lookup, and six rows propagated in the output file. Now let us see whether our output file is propagated correctly or not. The file will be there in the workspace directory with sales.xls as the name. So I will go to my workspace directory with sales.xls. you can see that the file is generated as per our expectation there are uh, four columns country name salesperson sales and rating this rating column was populated from the lookup table all these three columns were populated from the input table so this was a small example of how we do lookups using talent we use the join component and two tables and one file And this is where uh, you will design dimension jobs, staging jobs, all the jobs. You will cleanse the data, you will load it into staging, then finally you will load it into dimension. 
Now that I have given the screenshot of what I have done. And this is the one of the dimension jobs. So you will end up at the in the final uh, project. You will end up doing this.